In the news tonight, remains believed to be that of murdered policeman Funk and MP calls for a collective approach to address issues facing people of African descent in various parts of the world. The remains believed to be that of Police Constable Quincy Lewis were found late this afternoon on the Linden Suzak Highway. The discovery comes hours after members of the Major Crimes Unit descended on the area and commenced a search during an intelligence led operation. Lewis mysteriously disappeared on June 19, 2020. Over the years, his family have been seeking answers following his disappearance and were appealing for help to find him, but all to no avail. Crime Chief Wendell Blanham told this newscast that two persons are in police custody assisting with investigations. He noted that from their initial investigations, it was discovered that the policeman was lured to the East Bank Demara home of a woman with whom it is believed he once had a relationship. He was allegedly shot and killed and his body dumped on the highway in the vicinity of Splash Mins Fun Park. This news has understands that the suspects have identified husband and wife as the prime suspects in the killing of the cop. It's unclear at this point as to the motive for the killing. There are reports that the couple have since skipped the country following the incident. Constable Lewis was stationed at the Agricola Police Outpost on the east bank of the Mararo. Unfortunately, when he left home for work that day, he never got there. Crime Chief Wendell Blanham took the opportunity once again to commend all the investigators for the hard work, perseverance and diligence which ultimately led to the solving of this case. He said the Guyana Police Force will seek to send the samples of the human skeleton remains unearthed today for DNA testing. Said to the Guyana Police Force will also use all legal avenues available to ensure that the other two suspects are extradited to Guyana to answer to the allegations in relation to the death of the policeman. Guyana ride into the future with the next generation eco-friendly Axiom installed elevators and escalators. Call us today on telephone number 619-0899 or 6048-0934. Email us at axiomliftsgy at gmail.com for affordable elevators, escalators, moving walks, industrial lifts, home solutions, modernization, repair and servicing. Axiom Elevator Services, technology for people on the move. Running late and can't wait to the gate? We got you. The Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited has introduced a fast and easier way to make payments to your accounts through the GT&T Mobile Money Services. Here's how. Click on the MMG app. Under Services, select Pay Bills. When you are there, look for the Financial Institution option. Once that is done, select Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited to pay your loan or make payments to your savings. Payments to the credit union made easier. GPS CCU, the credit union you can bank on. Opposition Member of Parliament Amanza Walton De Seer has called for a collective approach to address issues facing people of African descent in various parts of the world. Speaking at the 2023 National Action Network Convention 
in New York and attended by U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, Walter Desir told the gathering that despite wealth being generated from oil and gas, African Guyanese are excluded. But the reality is that that is not the case. And so like my brothers from Canada, we are here, I am here this morning to strip back that very carefully curated veneer of economic success. To say to us that this is not happening, contrary to what you read, contrary to what you may hear, this is not happening. Guyanese are not experiencing a good life. And predominantly, the Afro-Guyanese population has been made to suffer the brunt of what is currently emerging to be a totalitarian uh, regime. And as I've sat here over the last two days, listening to the families yesterday, those who have lost loved ones, I can only help but reflect that is the exact thing that we have experienced in Guyana. We have had um, a young man by the name of Orrin Boston shot in bed by the police lying next to his wife with his children in the adjoining room. We have had uh, a, a, an Afro-Guyanese policewoman who was on security detail being spat upon and called a monkey. And so when you sit and you listen, you realize that the commonality of our condition requires that we come together in this struggle. What in the sea believes that collectively they can make a difference. And I want to thank Nan and Reverend Sharpton for this initiative, for taking Nan um, internationally, because as we continue as the diaspora from diverse parts of the world, as we continue to work together, we will be able to make the difference. We have a shared tragedy called slavery. We have gone through 400 years of shared trauma, and I firmly, firmly I firmly believe that together, as a people, working together, we can share triumph. Founded by U.S. civil rights leader Reverend Al Sharpton, the National Action Network brings together African leaders from around the world to discuss issues facing Africans globally. The organization was started in 1991 and works within the spirit and tradition of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to promote a modern civil rights agenda that includes the fight for one standard of justice, decency, and equal opportunities for all people regardless of race, religion, nationality, or gender. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.